Hey guys, just want to make this video super, super quick. I was looking at my tier graphs on op.gg and I was actually noticing something really interesting and I wanted to talk about it. It brings up a really important topic about how people view climbing and how people expect to climb and then the actual reality of climbing. And th this isn't just limited to League of Legends, but I'm going to be focusing on League of Legends for this video because that's just kind of the content I produce. Um, but this is something that I kind of went through when I played competitive Overwatch as well. So we're just going to go through this. So this is my tier graph um, when viewed monthly. So it kind of views the tiers of every month. This is right now. I just hit plat two last night, which was awesome. That's my peak rank. Um, super happy to be hitting that last month. Uh, looks like I was around plat three, one LP. Uh, and I had a little bit of a dip from April to May, and then it looks like um, February was kind of the season start, starting gold one. So it looks to me like I had a really steady climb. It didn't, doesn't really seem like there's much issue here, and I feel like this is kind of what people expect when they go into a competitive game. They just kind of expect to have a curve like this that just kind of steadily climbs, maybe have like one dip here and there. But that is not the reality of what happened this season for me. This is what my tier graph really looks like. And if you've played an extended amount of competitive games and you're not lying to yourself, this is what improvement in climbing really looks like. And this isn't even the full picture. This is only going back to um, to April. But I actually dropped to gold a lot of times. Uh, I, I think I've dropped to gold like four times this season from plat, especially with the new LP changes that, that kind of, you know, your rank becomes a lot more um, variable when that happens. So I, I've dropped from plat four to gold one at least four times this season before ending up where I'm at right now at plat two. And I kind of just want to show you this to you guys, because a lot of people, they kind of just see this and they go, this is how it should be. That's just that's how. That's how it should work. And then everyone just gets discouraged when their tier graph looks like this. And you're and you're not up here yet. You're not you're not to plateau yet. You're still in this slump like you get you. Let's say you're here in the gold one. That really sucks if you feel like your tier graph is supposed to look like this and you're down here in gold one. When your peak is plat three. How, how does that make you feel about yourself like but in reality, this happens to almost everyone. So you shouldn't be discouraged when something like this happens. So let's just remember that this is often what people expect. But the reality is this is what your tear graph is going to look like. You're going to have dips. You're going to have losses. Losing is inevitable and it's a part of improvement. And especially if you're focusing on improvement, you're going to lose games. So that's all I kind of wanted to talk with you guys about, but I hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe for more of these videos. See you later.